Luis Inacio Lula da Silva has beaten Jair Bolsonaro in the Brazilian election by a razor thin margin. After a tense and violent campaign, Lula won with 50.9% to Bolsonaro's 49.1%, the closest result since Brazil's return to democratic elections in the 1980s. In protest at the outcome, Bolsonaro supporting truckers blocked highways across the country. But the president has stayed unusually quiet. What happens now? And what does it mean for Brazil and the world? As Lula's supporters packed Avenida Paulista and celebrated the results of the election, all eyes turned to Bolsonaro, who at the end of the evening still hadn't said anything publicly about the results of the election. He has created doubt for months in the electronic voting system and suggested he wouldn't accept defeat if he loses. However, a lot of his closest allies, Congress people and governors and so on, came out and accepted the result. This is a good sign. It means that maybe Bolsonaro will find it harder to create some claim of fraud, which would be bogus. So far on social media like Telegram, Bolsonaro supporters are sort of split between a sense of resignation, people saying, you know, it's time for me to move to another country, and uh, these sort of conspiracy theories that there must be something fishy in the result. I think they're waiting for a sign from their leader, and, you know, we have to wait and see what Bolsonaro himself says. Lula only won by just above 2 million votes, so just under half of the electorate voted for Bolsonaro. In some cases, this was due to rejection of Lula and a belief that he's corrupt. Just a few years ago, he was in prison for convictions related to the Lava Jato corruption scandal. These convictions were annulled by the Supreme Court, but Lula's legacy is still tainted in the eyes of many Brazilians. In some cases, support for Bolsonaro was due to his tough on crime rhetoric or he is conservative when it comes to religion. But you know, in any case, I think the support shows that for Brazil, right-wing populism is still a very powerful force. It's going to be present in Brazilian society along with Bolsonarismo for some years yet. Lula's going to have to build alliances in a Congress that is more Bolsonarista than the last time around. And he's going to have to try to find ways to pacify society as well, which is very divided, even more so after a vicious and violence-filled campaign. The real hope with Lula is that he can curb deforestation in the Amazon rainforest, which spiked under Jair Bolsonaro. Lula has said that he's going to crack down on illegal logging and mining and other activities that are responsible for logging in the Amazon. And there's hope that this kind of effort can help slow deforestation, which is incredibly important for curbing climate change. Joe Biden very quickly came out and released a statement recognizing Lula's victory, and he was followed by other world leaders. The quickness with which they came forward with these statements, I think, was really intended to show that there would be no support whatsoever for Bolsonaro to claim fraud. And so I think, you know, that's another factor that is going to try to push Bolsonaro to accept this result. You can read more of our Brazil election coverage by clicking on the link. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.